In their forever home, three happy dogs, Bambi, Jody, and Blessing, basked in the warmth of unconditional love, knowing they were cherished and adored every single day. Their hearts were filled with joy, their tummies filled with yummies, their tails wagged with delight, and their lives were forever intertwined in a beautiful tale of happiness. After four years of living together, something unexpected happened. Bambi began experiencing discomfort while eating. Joan noticed that Bambi would sometimes cough and struggle to swallow her food. Knowing that Bambi had only two front canine teeth, after the vet extracted her once rotten teeth four years ago, Joan decided to check on Bambi's mouth. Bambi was very cooperative, as she trusted Joan totally. Joan discovered that Bambi had lost one of her two canine teeth, and there was a hollow gap on her gum where the tooth was located. Concerned, she took her to the vet to get a checkup. The vet examined Bambi thoroughly and decided to perform a dental operation to clean and flush out any food that remained inside the hollow gap to prevent any infection that might cause Bambi's coughing. But the vet was not able to perform the surgery on the day. Joan had to book an appointment and come back with Bambi later. A week has passed and Bambi was able to eat slowly, but the coughing still exists. Their appointment was on October 10th, 2018 in the morning. While Joan was preparing to bring Bambi to the clinic, Blessing was pacing around them. She seems to know that they are going somewhere. When Joan carried Bambi in her arms and was leaving their home, Blessing suddenly started barking and whining loudly while Jody was walking around looking confused. Joan told Blessing to stay with Jody at home and that Bambi needed to go to the vet. She thought maybe Blessing wanted to come along as the three dogs had never been separated all these four years together. Joan could still hear Blessing barking and whining loudly behind a closed door after they left their home. Joan and Bambi reached the clinic and after an excellent result from her blood count, it was shown that Bambi was healthy and ready to have her surgery. The vet informed Joan that they would start the surgery at two o'clock in the afternoon. Meanwhile, Bambi will be kept in a cage till the time comes. Joan brought a piece of her shirt and a favorite toy to place in the cage for Bambi's comfort. Joan told Bambi to be brave and that she would wait for her to bring her home following the procedure. As she had promised, Joan gave Bambi a bear hug and kissed her on the head. Joan's heart broke as Bambi glanced at her, leaving the veterinarian's office while trembling in the doctor's arms. She turned back, smiled and waved to Bambi, telling her what a good girl she was. She was then brought into the surgical room by the veterinarian. Thinking that the waiting time would be a few hours, Joan decided to go to a coffee shop nearby the clinic, which is just 10 minutes walk away. Joan anxiously waited for Bambi to come out of the surgery hoping for a positive outcome. After waiting for several hours, Joan got a call from the veterinary reception telling her that Bambi's procedure was successful and she was now ready to go home. Joan was relieved and headed straight back to the clinic. While she was walking toward the clinic, her phone started to ring again. It was the clinic's number that appeared and Joan answered it quickly. This time, it was the vet that called. And in a panicked voice, she told Joan to hurry back as Bambi was choking and gasping for air. Joan ran and dashed into the clinic, pushing doors hard as she entered the work area and found Bambi laying lifeless on a table. Bambi was surrounded by nurses and the vet herself. The oxygen tube was inside Bambi. They did CPR on her, but it was too late. Bambi passed away. After Bambi awoke from anesthesia, she choked to death because the vet failed to see a lump in her throat. Joan was devastated by the sudden loss of her beloved furry baby. While the veterinarian was speaking, she sat there stunned and motionless. After five minutes, Joan broke out and kept pounding on Bambi's heart while blowing into her nose. She kept calling loudly to Bambi and pleading with her to come back, to wake up and breathe. Bambi lay still as Joan cowered over Bambi's body and wept her heart out. The staff in the clinic were silent while looking at Joan and Bambi. They felt the grief fill the entire room. Joan stayed in that position for half an hour, then suddenly stood up. She walked to the reception and paid the bill. She asked for a clean towel to wrap around Bambi and carried her home. 
From then on, she vowed to herself that she will get a second opinion before any surgery performed on any of her fur kids. She blamed herself for being too confident and trusted the vet's suggestions and advice. When they reached home, Joan was greeted by Jody and Blessing. They both walked towards Joan as she laid Bambi on her bed. They were calm instead of jumping and wagging their tails. Joan was not a superstitious person, but she believed in dreams. To witness this from Jodie and Blessing after she came home with Bambi's body made her realize that they could be trying to stop her from taking Bambi to the clinic this morning. Animals are extremely sensitive towards the unknown energies and they might have known or understood something that humans are unable to tap into. Joan regretted not understanding to their plead. Jody and Blessing came forward and sniffed Bambi while she lay still. They sat beside her body and lay their heads down. The sight caused Joan to break down. The pain that she experienced from the depart of her beloved Bam Bam flashes back again. She wondered if she could rebuild her strength back as she laid herself beside Bambi while stroking Jody and Blessing's fur. The news of Bambi's passing spread throughout the community and Joan received an outpouring of support from friends, family and fellow pet owners. They shared their condolences and offered words of comfort, knowing how deeply Joan cared for her dogs. In the midst of her grief, Joan found solace in the presence of Jody and Blessing. They too mourned the loss of their companion, exhibiting signs of sadness and confusion. Dogs possess a remarkable intelligence that extends beyond their ability to understand commands or perform tricks. They have an innate sense of empathy and emotional intelligence, allowing them to comprehend and respond to the grief of losing a dog friend. When a beloved companion passes away, the remaining dogs often exhibit signs of mourning. They may become subdued, lose interest in activities or even search for their departed friend. This behavior is a testament to their deep emotional bond and their ability to comprehend loss. Joan made it her mission to provide them with extra love and attention during this difficult time. Months passed and Joan slowly healed from the loss of Bambi. She continued to cherish the memories they had shared and found comfort in the bond she had with Jody and Blessing. The three of them grew even closer, supporting each other through their collective grief. As time passes, Jody and Blessing's intelligence enables them to heal and adjust to life without their sister Bambi. Their emotional intelligence guides them in recognizing the love and joy that still surround them even in the absence of their dear one. In the quiet moments, Joan would think of Bambi and the profound impact she had on her life. She knew that Bambi's passing was a heartbreaking loss, but she also believed that her memory lived on through the love and compassion she shared with Jody and Blessing. Joan whispered to the wind, thank you Bambi for the time we had together. Spirit will forever guide me to protect and care for animals. You may no longer be by my side, but your memory and the lessons you taught me will always remain in my heart. And so Joan continued her journey, carrying Bambi's legacy with her. She never forgot the little trembling poodle who had touched her life so profoundly. As the years went by, Jody and Blessing remained by Joan's side, offering their unwavering support and companionship. Together, they faced life's challenges with resilience and love, forming an unbreakable bond. Joan often reflected on the journey she had taken with her three furry companions. From their initial struggles with fear and anxiety to their eventual triumph over adversity, they had grown together, learning from one another and finding strength in their unity. In the end, Bambi's passing taught Joan a valuable lesson, that life is fragile and unpredictable and that every moment with loved ones should be cherished. She treasured the memories she had shared with Buddy Bam Bam and Bambi and carried their spirits with her, a reminder to live each day to the fullest. On days when the rain poured outside, Joan smiled, knowing that Bambi was no longer afraid of thunderstorms and rainy days. She had earned her wings and she is no longer a poor jawless poodle. She is being transformed into a beautiful soul and having fun playing with her guardian angel Buddy Bam Bam, 
who connected her to Joan years ago. So Joan, Jody and Blessing go on with their daily lives. And two years later, Bambi came back. Stay tuned for the next chapter, where the story continues to unfold. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next story. Be blessed.